it's Teresa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I have a project share for you along with a tutorial link uh, for the base construction of this cute little mini album. Uh, this uh, design comes from Carolina of Carolina's Crafts. Um, she did an adorable version using a paper collection that I've already used on my channel, so I did something a little bit different, but the base design is hers, so check her link out um, in the description box below and make your own version. So for my album, I went with this cute nautical collection from Craftsmart. I've had this in my stash for just a little while, but you know, it's summer and I was just feeling that kind of coastal vibe, so I thought it would be fun to get it out and play with it. Uh, for the base construction, Carolina recommended 65 pound weight cardstock for the whole thing, um, which is different for me. I usually use 110, but I thought I'd give it a try and it turned out really good. Um, I use this Midnight Navy Blue cardstock, 65 pound weight again, and this is uh, also from Recollections from Michaels. And on the cover here, I used some cutting dies. Um, this is just an image from the cut aparts in the paper collection, and I cut it out with just one of my plain um, circle dies. And then I took some of these more uh, decorative stitched dies right here. And these are from Elizabeth Crafts. These are called stitched circles. I use these a lot. I would highly recommend picking them up if you don't already have some. Um, but I was trying to go for kind of like a porthole kind of a look. And um, as if you were, you know, maybe in a ship looking out and watching the sailboat go by, I thought it was cute. And I think that this album would be perfect for someone maybe um, taking a cruise or wanting to, you know, commemorate some pictures out on the water. Just fun. This little captain's hat and this anchor came from another die set that I have. Looks like this. And this die set comes from a first edition. And um, another die set that I use quite a bit. I just think it's fun and it embosses a lot of detail into uh, the images as well. So just a fun one to play with. Um, so I kept the cover kind of simple. I wanted to keep it flat so that when we open it up, we don't have anything you know, protruding, keeping it um, from being uneven on our surface. Uh, this is the spine, and on the side, I just I use a smaller version to kind of mirror the porthole, just a little one from that same die collection. And on the back side, I used another cut apart from the collection and also cut that out in a circle. It says, the world is your oyster. I kind of framed everything in this gold foil cardstock from Recollections. Um, it's just a nice lightweight cardstock and I think it just makes everything um, just pop a little bit. And I just use some bling from my stash just to kind of give it a little bit of sparkle. Now the size of this album is, it's about five and three eighths by seven, seven and one sixteenth if you wanna be exact, but basically about a five by seven album. And this um, jute kind of ribbon that I used as a closure, it's the Celebrate It brand. I think this is from Joann's. I've had it in my stash for a little while, so I don't exactly remember. It's either Joann's or Michael's, but whoever has that Celebrate It brand. Now we're gonna open it on up, take a peek inside. So on the inside front cover, I made a little folder that you can, um, you know, put photos in, or you can do some journaling, maybe with a gel pen to make it pop off of that navy blue cardstock. And this is just a cut apart uh, from the collection, and I left that blank on the other side for journaling or a photo. Um, so you've got this little pocket here with a little notch that reminds you, hey, reach in there, I'm a pocket. <laughs> And I think it's a fun detail. And Carolina kind of goes over how you can make that with easily with your envelope punch board. So if you have one of those in your stash, you're good to go. Um, I put jute along all of the gusseted areas. This uh, same jute ribbon, I just thought it was a fun um, addition. And I like the way, it, I think it ties in with the nautical theme, kind of ropey. 
Um, this is another cut apart from the collection that I backed on the gold foil cardstock. And this is magnetic and flips open. It says, let the sea set you free. And then this flips up. Now this is a little bit of a modification from what Carolina did. Um, this flap wasn't here and so this flips up like this and this pocket wasn't here because this pocket was actually supposed to go on the next page and I kind of made a mistake. So, you know, life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> so we got an extra page out of it in another pocket. Um, and inside that pocket, I put this little cut apart from the collection, which again, I backed on the gold foil cardstock. I just, there were gold foil accents everywhere in the collection, and I just thought it made them pop. Left it back blank on the back for journaling or a photo. And I didn't want to overfill these pockets um, because I want to leave it up to the recipient to do uh, whatever they want to and have the room and space um, to, you know, decorate it however they want. So this closes and it is uh, magnetized and then it opens up again and you have a larger space up here for a photo. This is just, it's exactly four inches, this mat, four inches wide. And it's a little bit over, I think it's six and a quarter inches long. So if you just trim down a four by six photo, just a smidge, you'd still have a nice border around the edge and a great space to put a photo. So this is where that pocket was originally intended to be. And so what I did is I made more of like a hidden pocket. So when you pull it out, it just kind of looks like the waves from here are kind of like continuing over. And um, I put this cut apart in there uh, from the collection. You can write notes on it or um, journal, whatever you would like. It says, let the sea set you free right there and I this just slides right back in and this is kind of a shallow pocket but there is room in there for a couple photos or whatever you might like to tuck in there so then this closes and closes again and then this flips out and so again um, more room for larger size photos four by sixes trimmed down just a touch I thought it was fun the way the scene kind of continues over. And each of these pages is a pocket page. So this is the photo mat that's in the first one. And on the back, um, I did use this uh, kind of coordinating, it's kind of a grayish um, uh, cardstock. And just so it would have an area to write if you didn't want to use like a white gel pen. Um, or you could just put a photo there. And I rounded the corners because I find that that helps it to slide in and out easily. Now these are not intended um, to go all the way down. Carolina designed it so that it's just kind of peeking out and which I think is really fun and just adds an extra interesting element to the book. So on to the next page. This one, I kept it kind of plain because I wanted um, to leave room for photos, both on the top and on the bottom here, but it is a pocket. So it flips up like this and then it flips down. And then right here, you've got this little uh, pocket that's hinged. So it flips out and I thought that was really cute. So you've got all this space right here for photos. And when you flip it back, this little pocket does contain a cut apart from the collection. That's perfect for a photo on the back or to journal. And it says, take time to coast. And I think that's what this little sea turtle is doing. <laughs> Super cute images in this collection. This all closes with a hidden magnetic closure. More of that jute ribbon on the, uh, the gusseted area. And on this page, we have a cute little waterfall I've trimmed it out with some uh, jewel border dazzles from Hot Off the Press. I pick these up at Paper Wishes and I just find that they are a fun addition. They're just stickers and um, they just add a little, little bling, little interest when you need that. And then these open. And I did add the gold foil in between. I just thought it was something a little, little extra special. I left them blank on the back because you can put a photo. Let me measure these. 
uh, the size of the photo. So these are three and a quarter by, mm, let's see, I'm sorry, let's see, three and a quarter by four and a quarter basically. So three by four pictures would look amazing on there and it would leave a nice navy blue border on here. Um, I'll cut them a little bit smaller for the size, for the um, sides that have the patterned paper on them, but still super cute. Or just leave it like they are on the front and put your photos on the back. The choice is yours. Now, this page also has a pocket right here. And so I put a little tag in here and I put this little ribbon um, on the end so that you would notice, hey, there's a tag in there and this is a pocket. <laughs> And so these cute little fish, and I did put some navy blue um, cardstock on the back, again for journaling or for a photo. It just slides back in there, and then we've got our photo mat. Blank on the back again, that just slides right back in peeking out just a little bit so you know it's there and plus it's easy to grab that way. I really like that design. That was a smart design. And then this page says you are my anchor and this flips open like this. It is magnetized and then it flips open like that and we've got another little pocket here along with a cut apart from the collection that says the waves are calling you. Again, open on the back for a photo or for journaling just tucks in there. Large space here for photos and right here for a smaller one but cute. That closes up. Then on this page, um, I love these lighthouses. I just think that they're so cute and I love the colors. I love the colorway of this whole collection. I think that that's what really drew me to it. Now this is magnetized. It opens this way and then it opens again. So a lot of large spaces for photos. It has a belly band that goes down the center. And then in that belly band, I put one of the larger cut aparts from the collection. It says, let your dreams set sail. And I thought that was fitting since it's on a background of sailboats. Um, this is blank on the back. It would be perfect to add a four by four picture because with the matting, this is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So it's gonna leave you a nice border on the back or you can journal. And with this belly band, um, <laughs> it really isn't tight. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting in, the, in there, but um, I was just gonna say, there's lots of room in here, as you can see, to add your own photos, notes, memorabilia, whatever you'd like. This closes up like this. And then we've got another photo mat featuring this really cute sea turtle uh, paper with the gold foil accents. Again, blank on the back for journaling or a photo. And we're just gonna pop that back in here. And the next page says sunshine and salt water. And this is actually a little booklet. It's magnetized and it opens up and I did mat it. So great opportunity for some photos right here. It closes and then this whole thing opens up and the top says you, me, and the sea. And it's just got a lot of really fun images. And then if we move it down, this bottom flips down and then in the center, you've got this cute uh, paper for, it's, it's kind of um, muted, so it'd be perfect to feature your photo. You don't feel bad covering something like that up, I don't think. And um, then you've got another opportunity right here. This closes up like that, again, it's magnetized. And then on the inside back cover, um, I just, I tried to mirror the front inside cover. So if you look, it's just kind of a continuation. Um, I don't believe that this pocket um, was in Carolina's tutorial. It was just something that I added, um, thinking it would look nice if they were kind of mirror images of each other. So, and plus it's another opportunity to put, you know, a little booklet for more photos. 
And I also put this 4x4 cut apart from the collection, which is again perfect for your 4x4 photos because it's matted on this gold foil, which um, would give it still a nice border if you put a 4x4 photo on there. So these just slide back in here. And that is my mini album. I had a lot of fun making it, and Carolina, if you're watching my video, thank you so much for this design. I know I'll be using it often. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Also, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Until then, bye!